In the previous lecture, I mentioned a really effective strategy to get more sales from your previous customers. This video is brought to you by Abi Pies Academy. And in this lecture, I just want to add a few points to help you not violate uh, Fiverr terms of service. Okay, it's important. You do not want to violate ter Fiverr terms of service. And here is what you've got to do. You can't send a lot of copy paste messages to everyone. The messages you send, they have to be personalized messages, okay? And when you send them those messages, don't send them the gig first. First, you ask them whether it's okay for you to send them promotional uh, messages or uh, messages with extra cool new gigs that you have that might help them, right? So if you, you can ask them basically, would you like to, for me, is it okay for me to send a new gigs that might help you. Would, would you mind? And the people who don't mind, the people who respond, you make a list out of those people, and those are the ones that you message. And again, only original messages, don't copy paste messages. People, you know, don't like that, and they can, you can get reported to Fiverr, and they might have to take some action. So it's be careful. Um, but once you do have a good list of people you can reach out, you can go boom, 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 send the messages. Um, and there you go. You, that's how you can get more sales uh, from your past clients.